Hey Joe, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm working on flying my taxes right now. Really? I'm reading this interesting, interesting story. It has this character named Tom Robinson in it. Have you heard of him? Yes, I remember him. He reminds me of you, Sean. Me? Why? Even though we live in Alabama, where we are separated by violence and justice, you still find the time in your heart to help me out. You give me hope in this cruel world. I wish people wouldn't believe that all Negro men are liars, that all Negro men are basically immoral beings. And I wish people would have the trust in our Negro men being with other women. Thank you, that. That makes a lot to me. Thank you. I'll see you later. I have to go continue reading this awesome story. so much evidence from the scene of the crime. This is the last thing we really needed. But all the evidence that was sent into the police station has come up negative. No reason, no results, no ties to anyone. That's odd. Yeah, it's extremely odd. You'd think at any time there'd be tons of things leaking in to the correct perpetrator. What do you think about that? It's, I mean... Sounds like you might be dealing with a lost case here. Lost case? Yeah. Or... But I think it actually leaves us closer to the truth. Truth can hurt you. Hurt you harder than, than it could before. True. But I'm willing to take that risk. I find, I find it odd that with the sheer amount of evidence being sent to the police station that nothing led to anything. But in addition to this, I've also have never seen any of it actually be analyzed in person. I suspect that the evidence is being lost, purposely lost by someone in the police force. Specifically someone with a lot of power who could manage all of that, all of those people. So you seek to, so you seek to punish the guilty at any cost. No, not any cost. I'm simply raising my suspicions about those in the police force. Mm. All right, then. Um, and have you thought about sending this to forensics? Yes, but I'd like someone who I can easily trust to go over it. I'm not, as I said, due to my suspicions that it might be someone in the police. I don't want this last piece of evidence to be lost, you know? 
If you don't mind, might I, might I investigate this myself? Of course, of course. I'm always open to suggestions. It's a pleasure talking to you. It's a pleasure talking to you. Um, Just like old times, buddy. Just like old times. I'll return to you with what I have. Hmm? I, I will return to you with what I have. You'll return to me with what I have. Yes. All right. It's a pleasure working with you. Oh, Alvin, I have a few questions for you. Please, sit down. Alright, first of all, um, when, were you the only one there to pace? Uh, yes, I was the only one there. Alright. Uh, second, um, Deshaun had the knife in his hand, right? Uh, yeah, he definitely had the weapon in his hand. Alright, did, did it look like he had a clear motive to kill the shop owner? Um... From what I thought, he looked like he had some sort of dislike or hatred towards the shop owner. Figures, figures. Um, he's just like all the other Nigos. Yeah, I, I think so too. But that detective doesn't really seem to think the same way we do. Tell me about it. At the station, he's always running his mouth, saying, I think that's just one kind of folks. Folks, and that uh, our society's way of thinking, especially about black people, is racist. 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 I'm sorry, but was but was supposed to feel empathy for those? I swear, I swear, I swear. He's addicted to those stupid books every minute. He's he reads off on his own. All right, I have to go. My food is ready. Oh, all right. See ya. Um, hello. I'd like to ask you a few questions about the case. Yes, sir. All right, then. So, you were at the scene of the crime, correct? Yes, sir. All right. Were you able to see the perpetrator? No, he just suddenly ran up to me, killed him, I swear, and I didn't commit the crime. How many times were, was he attacked? Was um, he, like, stabbed multiple times? Um, no, sir. I, I recall only one stab. One stab. One stab? Mm. Interesting. Alright then. I will see what happens when the evidence comes out. I'll, I'll look into this. Okay. Please, you gotta be in that. I need you in there. Please. I do. I do. You do? I'm here to help you. Why? Me? I think the main reason is if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to hold my head up anytime. Against, can you help me out? I've, I've been analyzing it. I should be able to form an incredibly solid case for your innocence. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I've been looking over the evidence that I've gathered recently, and I think we need to have a court case about this. Well, why? Quite simply, the evidence I gathered, it not only suggests that you, that uh, the testimony that you gathered proving that Sean is guilty is false, but it also but I also had several testimonies that say he's innocent. Many people um, generally don't see what I see. People generally see what they look for and hear what they listen for. It's human nature. All right. In that case, who do you think, who do you think killed the shop owner? I believe it was you. Get out. Now. But I don't want to hear, is... I don't want to hear another word from you. Out! He goes again. Out! The Sean. You recognize this. Those are not mine, those are the murderers. Destroy! We found your fingerprints on this dang weapon! Sir, those aren't mine. Destroy! Shut your mouth! Wait, those are the whole I don't do anything, sir. Wait, sir.
Deshaun, do you remember your little detective buddy? Yes, where is he? Please, I need him. So, so you were the killer? I don't need the answer to that. I'm done with it.